So I have a couple of door skins and deck lid skins that I got to take off soon and I don't have a tool for starting that. So if you could picture that black line as being the interior of the door or what would be the inside of the deck lid and the blue line as being the skin, the skins are hemmed over the edge. And what we need is something that will get underneath of that hem and pry it up like in the picture below where the skin is now pried up off of the interior. And uh, I saw someone else build a tool like that and they used a pair of vice grips. So that's what we're going to start with. We're going to start with this set of vice grips. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a little radius right here where we have it in black marker. And we're going to take and die grind and file that little radius into it. And that will give us the part that seats up against the edge of the hem and then what we'll do is we'll come along the top and we'll cut it down and we'll put a tooth that's nice and strong to be able to get underneath of that and we'll be able to close the pliers to slightly open it and then bend them around a little bit to open it up so the first thing to do is to die grind and file that little radius in so I fixture it into the table just to have a nice surface to do it at and we're going to set up and I'm just going to take a grinder and I'm just going to grind a rough groove into it for now. So now we have a nice consistent groove all the way across. I'm going to take a file and clean it up a little bit. And uh... We'll clean some of the sharp edges up around the corners too. This is just a chainsaw file that I'm using. So now that we have a nice groove into there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm just going to sand and radius this tip and just get rid of some of these little sharp edges and some of this uh, stuff that we really don't need and just make a nice little radius end on it. There we are with a little more finish work. We've created a nice radius that will cup everything in and got rid of most of the sharp edges on the outside where it's going to be prying and leveraging. I have a small piece of 4140 that I'm going to just cut a wedge out of and that will be the tooth that we use to separate the skin from the main body of the parts. Once it came out of the bandsaw, I trued up this flat part up here, the square. So now I've d set a line with a sharpie, of ultra-fine sharpie, so that I can begin setting the taper and squaring up and truing up the taper.
So now that we have the tooth made, what we can do, we can cut the vice grip down on that line and then mount our tooth inside of there. And that'll allow us to get underneath of that piece of hem and wedge it up like we need to. Here we are all cleaned up, beveled, and ready to mount our tooth. It's just being held on by magnets right now. But you can see how it will all work. And that'll get up underneath of the skin and allow us to pry it and wedge it around and up. So here we are with the piece welded on. And uh, right after we got done welding it, we took a torch and, and heated it up nice and even and until a magnet barely stuck to it and then dipped it in hydraulic fluid. Now I can take a grinder and I can just dress it up, clean it up, and smooth it out. Take this back end off, give it a nice radius here, maybe narrow these just a little bit, and uh, clean it up, we can try it. to get it it's not going to be able to get everywhere here we are and once I, I gotta tighten it up a little bit yeah that's got started so now once we got it started we can tighten it all the way up to where our little notch is holding the edge of the door there we go it's tight and now I can just come up the door wherever I can get this tool into and we can de-skin the door. It's not going to work everywhere but it's going to be a good tool for getting started and we're trying not to do much damage to the outside. But there it is and uh, that's what it does. It, it helps de-skin the door.